Hey guys, Smart Ninja Zero 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 here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the aquatic update. Um, night vision just wore off. Um, yep, we're going to be talking about it. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, be sure to click the like button because it shows you enjoy me. I guess I guess it's kind of a rant video, but not really. Kind of. So we're just going to be kind of talking about my thoughts on it. Now, personally, the majority of it um, is great. I like the kelp and stuff, and the fact you can ride a ho the horses underwater, that's cool. Um, the swimming animation, I've said this like a billion times, I don't like it. I think it's okay. thing I don't like, though, is I'll be very specific. Um, the feet are great. Head is a little bit weird, rotating the head. I mean, that looks a little bit weird. Um... It looks kind of detached, I guess. Um, I mean, you can really see what I mean. It looks basically it's like it's not even there. The arms are okay, I guess, but I don't like them too much. Um, and of course, there's a lot of glitches with it. If you do something like this, where you're just, I don't know, like looking straight down, you can go into ground. So, I mean, it's okay, the animation. I just, those are my thoughts on it. Um, I mean, look at that, that, that. I mean, there's obviously too many bugs with it as of now before I can really make a definite goal, but they need to do something with it. Because um, at the current moment, no. Now, Drowned are awesome. I like them. The um, thing I wish is maybe if they were a little bit faster in, in water. I mean, they're pretty good speed, but... Um, you can kind of... I don't know, they just seem a little bit slow. You know what I mean? You can just kind of swim away from them. They're not going to really... The other thing is, if we have a swimming animation, why can't the drown swim? Um, like, that doesn't really make too much sense. Um, I don't know. So, I think the drowns should have, and now, apparently, I think this is right, but if you sneak, you go, you like fall faster underwater, that's cool, that's, that's cool. Um, now sneaking while the, with this, this looks weird. Now these little things, these are super cool. Um, I like how they have loot in them, it gives the purpose for underwater. Um, and then the maps with the buried treasure. That looks cool. Um, like, I mean, it's a little bit, com like, I mean, we are, we already have these types of maps, but actually finding it, I guess, which direction is it? So. I mean, it's cool being, trying to explore. And you can actually... I mean, with relative ease. Did the map just break? Yeah, it did. Find the buried treasure, so I'd say it's like right about here it looks. Moderately close. And as long as they put valuable stuff in it, like the heart of the sea, that's how you get it. That's the only way I know of. Um, I think it's, I think it will work. Now turtles are cool, but um, there, there's something about them that kind of sticks out with me. If you kill a turtle, it doesn't, like, it's not worth it. I guess, like, there's no reason. Like, it drops sea glass. Um, I guess that kind of works. But really, turtles should do more than be there. Um, now I know when they grow up, I think it is, then they get drop like the turtle, whatever the things are, the shards that make the helmet, or I don't know what it is. These things. Scoot. But they need to do more than just be there. I feel like it's just another polar bear. Polar bears don't do anything. They're just there for cosmetic purposes. They don't do anything. I feel like that, sh that should be changed. 
Speaking of which, I personally think before they go and add a, give us all these new things like turtles, they should really, I mean, polar bears, at least make them drop meat. They're just there. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. This polar bear, that's, that's, that's what it does. It sits there. Maybe make it so it can, like, um, go hunting. Like, go into the water or, like, try and get fish or something. That could be cool. Like, I don't know, attack the new fish mob. That that could be sick. And mamas, you never use them in survival. Maybe make it so you know how they spit. Maybe make it so they spit at... You can tame them and then they can spit at the um, nearby mobs if you punch them, like um, the wolves. And, I mean, those would be pretty simple changes, but they would just add a lot more because... Well, maybe you wouldn't kill it because it drops, like, fish. You would kill it because it's killing all the, uh, um, the fish. Or you could use it for an automated, um, like, fish farm, I guess. I mean, I don't actually know how you can... Oh, look at that. That's cool. I don't actually know how you can get these guys to spawn. I don't know if you can, like, have them reproduce, um... But, as for the... Ooh, another one. Really? Oh, that's the one right over there. Um, but, I mean, like, it could be cool. Um, the shipwrecks and stuff, obviously, the more custom structures... They're not going to ruin the game by adding more custom structures. Unless it really feels out of place. Now, conductor, conductor, yeah, conduit, conduct, I don't know how you say it. It's cool. I like it. Um, reason one is it provides light underwater. That's, um, that's cool. Like, look how nice, bright that is. Uh, reason two is it just makes underwater a little bit better if you want to um, do something with it. Um, obviously, it's not perfect, um, but it is cool. Um, the effect provided with it, I'm not exactly, I still don't understand it very much. I think it just gives you, like, um, like, fast mining and, like, the night vision stuff. I'm not really sure. That's sick. I like that. It adds a lot more. And the fact that it's not multiple effects, the fact they put that into one nice effect, I think that really works. Now, dolphins. Dolphins are okay. The thing I hate about them is the dolphin effect. The, um... It's like Dolphin's Grace. Here, I mean... Like, Dolphin's Grace, I guess it works? Not really. No one, no one's really saying, my god, I love this Dolphin's Grace thing. And the reasoning behind that is because it doesn't make sense. Dolphins should do more than give you this effect. Um, they should be able to do actual things um so another thing is i mean we have all these fish spawning now dolphins maybe i think dolphins uh, i don't think dolphins hunt them but maybe the dolphins can like follow them or something this dolphin's grace i believe it just makes you faster in water um that appears to be it uh, i hate that it's actually terrible what it feels like they're doing is they're adding effects to try and add more, but really they're just not making effects add more. What I mean by this is speed potions. Uh, speed potions are great. They are perfectly implemented. They have a purpose. You use them. They're not the most crazy useful thing in the world, but they're good. They're good enough, you know? Dolphin's Grace, it's just a speed potion. Like that's that's what it is. Um, speed, it's more obvious what it is. It says in its name, it gives you an attribute. When applied, you get twenty. You run twenty percent or forty percent faster. Forty right now. It's obvious what it does. The Dolphin's Grace thing, not really. Um, so I don't really like that. I think instead of having an, an effect just for that, make speed work underwater. Um, that's easy. We already have a beacon. We have the conduct. We don't need dolphins to be another beacon. That's that's just weird, you know? Speed should work underwater. That's, that's all I'm saying. 
Now, the idea of it working only underwater is interesting, but at least makes speed work in water, out of water. And then this get, brings me to my next point, which is Turtle Master Potion. Slowness was perfect before, now it's completely, it's broken. Um, slowness 1 and 2, having those as a nice debuff, that makes sense. Slowness 4 from 1, that doesn't make sense. So we have a, for Slowness 1, it's minus 15. Speed is plus 20. Slowness 2, it's minus 30. Speed is 40. That works. That's perfectly acceptable. Thing is, what we're really saying is slowness 2, technically, because that you can't get slowness 2 anymore, is minus 60. That doesn't make sense. Turtle Master Potion, it's okay, but we need to step it up a notch. I mean, what we could do is Turtle Master Potion could be underwater speed. The Turtle Master Potion can be a little bit of underwater speed, a little bit of resistance, everyone's happy. Maybe just make it so it's only resistance. A little bit of resistance could be, it could be the way to go. See, we just got this little Dolphin's Grace, that's, that's dumb. We don't have a resistance potion. Maybe turtles can be the creation of that resistance potion. Bring that into the game. Dolphins shouldn't give you speed. That's dumb. Turtle Master Potion shouldn't give you slowness. That's dumb. Turtle Shell, I ranted about it for way too long. Then I made a video entirely about it. Um, it's okay now. I like it. It's not terrible. Um, it's still a little bit weird. Um, but, mm, you know, what can you really do? Personally, the, the only thing that throws me off is the fact that it's got sort of a like a buckle and it's mostly the mono it looks the mono look kind of weird otherwise I think it's rad okay so the phantom the phantom is cool I like it it adds it's nice it works nice things I wish it did was one the AI was a little bit nicer um, and two this might be overkill but I wish it could, like, I'm not sure exactly, but, like, alright, so if you, if I spawn a phantom underwater, it works, it functions perfectly fine. So, since this is aquatic update, maybe make phantoms during daytime go underwater. Like, it looks kind of like a stingray thing. Like, it looks like it could be a plan now. It's AI is a little bit weird underwater since it doesn't exactly know what to do. Um, and then it could attack things, like dolphins and fish and turtles, and that could be cool. Now I know its main goal is to add more to the sky, and then at night, it goes up, day goes down. That could be a really interesting way to make the phantom work, so it's not just an ordinary mob that's kind of annoying. I mean, at the current point where the phantom is at, it's easy to dodge. If I do time set midnight, and I summon a phantom, and I go into survival, and I, I'm not even bringing the sword. You can see it's just one punch and it goes away. It flies up to the little loop-de-loop. -loop. Um, can you come loop-de-loop? -loop? Um, a few times, and then it'll come back down and it's still one punch. Easy to dodge. It doesn't even, it's not even that effective. You can just punch. Look at that. It's not even... It's it's okay. Adding a little bit more, I guess, AI to it could really, like the underwater thing I said, could really make it, I don't know, stick out. Um, I just guess add more. Also, I think the Phantom may need some AI changes considering the fact that it's been stuck there for like, I don't know, a good three minutes. Um, and again, look at that. It's not even coming for me. The, uh, the drowned is. Oh, look at that. It went underwater. See how that worked? That was. Oh, that one went. Uh, got out, too. So, um, yeah, if the Phantoms could just have a little bit more of an underwater aspect, I guess. It's the aquatic update. I think they can do it. Um, as for squids, how does this work with squids? Well, squids can pretty much stay the way they are. I think they're fine. Um, now, you'll notice one thing is a lot of the times you'll see a lot more squids than you will fish. We have four fish, and that's the only batch, I guess, 
in comparison to our squid ratio. So I think fish need to spawn a little bit more. Um, obviously, like, you see batches of squ squid spawn. Maybe, I'm not really sure, but like, maybe if it worked a little bit nicer. Um, that could be kind of cool. I mean, this is focusing on underwater physics, right? If we're going to get a sky mob that can, as you saw, swoop down, go underwater, and go back up, why, why, why can't it do that during day? Considering the fact it burns. Now, the trident's cool, and I really like the trident because it puts a, I guess, a little bit of a spin on the classic s spear, which everyone's been wanting for ages. A throwable weapon with a different damage value and I mean this doesn't really hint towards anything but it does mean that we might get um, some variation of ooh, um, of a dagger of some sort because everyone's been wanting that we're not sure what it is yet um, but I mean it could be cool definitely um, yeah now, with um, in regards to the new names, I don't think they're working with F3, considering it's Minecraft Extreme Hills and they changed the name. I don't really, I didn't put too much attention into that. I didn't care. Oh, look at that bug. Um, but what this does really mean, now here's what you might think. It might You might think um, it's going to add custom biomes. That would be super sick. Uh, I think Logue.zip said that in his video. Now, I'm not disagreeing with him. I'm not saying it's definitely happening. My guess is not that. Like I said in my snapshot video, it's probably going to be not custom biomes. It's going to be the ability to detect biomes. I, um, we may get assignable biomes, but really, we don't have... The things we can do, really, is like that affect things, is we can... We can update recipes, and we can update. Um, we can update recipes. We can update advancements. That's pretty much the vanilla things we can modify. We can't add new blocks. We can't add new um, structures easily. We can't. We, I mean, structure blocks, but they don't spawn naturally. Until we get the way to make our custom structures spawn naturally. With an easy method, I don't think we're going to get biomes, and, and that's kind of pretty obvious. If if they can't make custom structures spawn naturally, how are they going to make custom biomes spawn naturally? Now we might get ways to assign biomes. So say this little chunk, this is a Pokemon biome, um, like, and then you could do stuff with that, but. I, I doubt we would get that. Um, we might get it. That seems like something, but honestly, probably not. Um, which is a shame, but that's just my opinion. Now, the other thing about custom biomes, why why are they bothering with the name change now? Well, there's probably two, a few reasons. Reason one is pretty obvious. It's the fact that everything is Minecraft colon, um, Minecraft colon effect, Minecraft colon Lock slash item. Um, even data packs have pack name colon function or whatever you want to call it. By adding in biome names, um, we can really we we can see potential for custom biomes. For example, pack name colon biome in the now biome would be the biome name. So biome name where the pack and then it's biomes. But I'm not going to see that spawning naturally. That doesn't make sense. Um, well, we we might see some stuff with it later on, but I doubt it. Now, the other thing I want to point out is other updates. So, in Minecraft, we've seen lots of different updates. And we've seen a perfect example of, like, and I guess recently we've seen lots of what feel like unfinished updates. So, polar bears and llamas. Like I said, there's so much you can really add to them. This isn't about them. I'll make a different video if you want. Click the like button and leave a comment. But we can add so much to um, them just by doing like a, a few simple things. But when they're released, we don't do that. 
So the end and the nether, when they're released, we got a couple updates with them. So the end has pretty much always been the same until they added the outer islands and kind of updated the dragon fight a little bit every so often. I don't know if, I, like, maybe change dragon. Yeah, I, I think they might have done that. I don't know, though. Um, the nether got fortresses and then wither. Um, but it's pretty much standard. Lots of nether egg and red um, so it's it didn't really get a lot of updates we got a recent update to it where we got the uh, magma blocks and whatnot uh, for underwater fire bubbles so that's that's cool but um, I mean they try to fill it in because it's kind of a blank canvas and they're just adding stuff to it I guess so the end for example the end we got back way really long ago really long ago and now they just kind of recently I mean 1.9 they finally added more to it that seems a little bit weird that it took them this long to really add that little feature the thing what I'm worrying is how long is it going to be before they add a purpose to polar bears how long is it going to be before they add a purpose to llamas how long is it going to be before they make phantoms better AI. Like the water thing I said. That's a really good idea. I like that idea. So, phantoms are already really cool. They have the uh, phantom membranes or whatever, uh, which I believe make the potions of descending or uh, slow falling, as it's called. Um, and that's cool. I think we should be able to get potions of levitation using the uh, fermented spider eye, I think it is. Is that the one where it reverses the effects? If it is, leave that in the comments. Because that could be kind of sick, being able to make potions of levitation in vanilla. Oh, and this, uh, uh, it moving up, that's, I like that. That's cool, too. So, that is pretty much my thoughts on everything so far we know about. Um, the last few things I want to say is fishing. Considering the fact that we have the new fish or whatnot, um, maybe make it so the fish, like, go for the bobber, um, and then you might be able to pull a fish out of the water. They don't do that. They just are kind of there. Um, and, I mean, it, it's still, you could do normal fishing as well, but with the little put water things. But maybe adding actual fish going for the bobber, um, being able to pull it out instead of just getting... Like a puffer fish, you didn't see the puffer fish. Being able to, like... It's kind of hard, but... Oh, that fish. Like, see how I grabbed onto the fish and then I pulled it into the water? Being able to do that sort of thing, except the opposite, pulling it out. Like, here, I, I latched on it. Um, being able to then pull it out of the water um, could be kind of cool. More than trying to aim for it, so they'll actually come to you. You don't go to them, I guess. I mean, every so often you can get a fish. I think it's hysterical how their um, their model changes as soon as it's out, and then like if we can get this like if we can make it so fish um, actually like we pull them out of the water and then they die, that could be well they don't die but like I get well they'll be dead they don't drown like yeah you guys know what I mean so like you pull it out and then it just and it becomes the item instead of it doing this flop around thing. Um, that could be cool. And then the other thing about fishing is I'm pretty sure you can actually fish items. That's weird. Please remove that. It's cool. It's a cool map idea, but <laughs> my god. Do, do we don't need to fish items. Also, I think some momentum issue with that maybe. Um, I'm not actually sure. I'm gonna. This is me testing now. I don't know if you can fish armor stands. If you can, yeah. So, fishing armor stands. I'm okay with that. But fishing, fishing items. Please no. Please don't do that. I'm actually really curious. Can we fish? I think it does get aligned. No. Nope. Yeah, it gets aligned. So you can theoretically fish item frames. 
Theoretically. They don't move. How about we snots? No. I think it's because I clicked on it. That's the wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, I think it's because I click. Maybe it's just because the entity d interacts with it. No, I think it just despawns. But yeah, like I said, maybe adding a little bit more to, first off, fishing. Phantoms, underwater. These are the big things. And completely fix dolphins with the potion effects. Give um, turtles um, a little bit more, I guess. Um, hopefully this won't be added, but maybe give dolphins and llama, or not dolphins. Give, I mean, like turtles, like I said, um, have them do that. Um, and then, like, just, just have them do more than be there, you know? At the moment, we have so many cosmetic features that are just that. Cosmetics, they don't actually do anything. We need more features that do something. Um, so, that's my opinion on the 1.13 um, update. You can leave your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully this wasn't too long and tedious and ranty. Um, if you want to see more like this, because I know how much everyone loves it when I rant on stuff, um, then leave a like. Oh yeah, the head thing too. Um, then leave a like and leave a comment saying, hey, this was cool. Um, but really, um, I think it, I think there's definitely some aspects like the command stuff, functions, data packs. I love that. Just wish there was some changes to it, which of course I mentioned of all in this incredibly long video. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another one. Oh, and follow me on Twitter and click the bell, subscribe, and buy the merch, and join the Discord. Okay.